morning. Let's go cut some silage, huh? So once again, we're getting a bit of a late start. It's red at 9.30. I'm still about a mile away from the field. About a 12 mile run this morning <clears throat> to get over here. Um, but with irrigation water, having some trouble with pivots, and having to set flood water, there's just a lot of things going on that kept us from getting everything out early. Plus, spring work is a lot different than fall work. Fall work, you know, corn feed, you get that header ready and you go. Spring, you gotta have the swathers get going, let that stuff lay just a little bit, start to dry down, and then go. Otherwise, it's gonna be way too green. If it's dry enough to be right behind the swather, then you're probably getting too dry. We don't want that already. And also, if you watched my videos last fall, I had a lot of drone footage of silage. I'm trying this spring. It's been crazy windy. So I haven't been able to get mine up or get the crop insurance out of here with theirs. But hopefully that's to come soon. Better see what the chief wants. We just got ourselves a good old traffic jam out here. That's okay, Blanca. She's still trying to figure out how the merger works. She already plugged it once, so now she's a little nervous and going slow. No worries. It'll all get done. It's been a really long time, but we just had ourselves a little bit of a fire. Poor Blanca, it scared the crap out of her. When she called me, I thought she was saying the merger was on fire. Either way, seems to be out. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Jay and I were just talking, it's been six, seven years since we had a fire. It's actually right across the river, right there. I can see the field. The uh, blades on the swather there hit a rock and started the fire. This one, it looked like the murder, we found a rock that the merger must have hit, and that's what started this fire. Close call. So I'm still working away here on the second pivot. The farmer's chasing me down. He's planting corn right behind me. I see the corn right behind us. Well, it could be my little item. Um, I just got off the phone with my dad, big chief, whatever. And I asked him how the other crew was doing. We got done, cleared down with my grenade up, got moved up working on some of ours. Our swather breaks down. The part goes to the dealership who's trying to get parts. They don't have them. So we took the parts off the brand new and sit down for it. I just found that incredibly hilarious. Go we'll figure. On the day quarter after seven I just knocked out this 30 acre patch here the last field I was on was right over there you can see the tractor already planting corn he was right behind us the whole time oh that was a long day now the fun part going and blowing this thing off greasing it up getting ready for tomorrow so we can do it all over again okay two things blowing off after dark sucks but the service lights on this machine aren't too bad. Now I'm running regular lights that I'm back in here. But the service lights are pretty decent on this thing. Oh, go figure. Can't even see the choppers. This camera's so dark. Phone lights everything up way too much. This camera makes everything super dark. Either way, choppers are all tucked in for the night. Get a jump start on tomorrow, hopefully. There's rain in the forecast. But either way, guys, talk to you tomorrow.